Well, what is going on? Welcome back to Clayton Schick Outdoors. Of course, I'm Clayton Schick. This is the wonderful outdoors. And like the title says, winter camping is here. I'm going on a multi-day trip, two days, possibly three days or three nights, I should say. Right now it's uh, midday. I'm gonna get everything set up. I'm gonna fish this location probably for the evening. The evening bite's usually the best where I am at this location. And then the next couple days, I might bounce around a little bit to some different areas and just kind of have my, my sleeping location as like a home base. The idea for this trip is to try a bunch of different areas. I don't know whether it's gonna turn into a, a big multi-series uh, video or video series, I should say, or whether it's just gonna be some videos as I go, but winter camping, I'm excited to just spend some time on the ice, fishing, relaxing. Let's do it. I brought way, way too much gear, like way too much gear. To be fair, I have obviously all the filming stuff, but I have an extra shelter to set up somewhere else at some point. Like I said, whether it's tomorrow or the next day to kind of bounce around and try some different areas. So yeah, let's get this thing set up. I'm not gonna set up my main camera right now, the tripod, I'm just gonna set up my home base. Here, let's do this. Okay, camp, not set up, and camp, set up. We are dialed, still some more stuff to come in, but organization is priority first. I'm not gonna lie, this is now having this full door on the Monster Lodge. Yeah, I know, there's a mess right here. This is amazing. I think now I can even run my cot this way, which is even gonna give me more room for activities or fishing, I should say, but I'm liking this setup a lot. Okay, we are fishing. I gotta tie up a uh, jig here for a live minnow, but I think I'm organized. Well, somewhat. I still gotta set up my cot and get organized in that sense, but it's starting to be that witching hour. I have seen a couple marks come through. Look at this. As soon as I drop down, it comes a mark. When I first got here, I dropped the depth finder down. There was like no marks at all. And then about 20 minutes ago, I saw a mark cruise by and then another mark cruise by. So this is starting to be the, the witching hour. At first I was like, uh oh, this is my one of my spots that I'm not gonna lie, I've, I've set up here before and done quite well, but I'm like, it's one of my go-to spots not gonna happen today. I was a little bit panicky at first, but then I started to see some marks. So I have, faith yet for sure i am going to get this other rod all set up one really funny thing i've been fishing lots with the uh, frosty clownfish tantrum i didn't bring any i forgot them i had it on my running gun rod and i had one left still because i need to get more and uh i forgot that rod at home good thing i uh, brought the rest of my tackle box once we hit tomorrow i'll start playing with the underwater camera as well and yeah i might i might have three full days of fishing yet to push through this and find some interesting areas hopefully i'm going to do a big scouting mission on this trip i i believe i'm on seven inches of ice here check my way out type of thing obviously i have the ranger so i was extra cautious and took my time i am very familiar with this area though and comfortable don't just rush out there if you don't know the areas or don't know how to read the ice and all that fun stuff. Please, everybody, there's lots of ice fishing to be done yet this season. Just be safe. I need to catch one or two and get a feel for size reference. The second one came in and just hit it. This one's a little bit smaller than the first one, but not much. So I'll get a size reference anyway. It doesn't feel that big, but first fish. Oh, yeah, that's little. Wish I could say my first walleye of the camping season would be a good one, but it's not very big. The shelf is so handy for rods, pliers. I didn't talk about it in the last video I put out and that ended up being a big mistake is one of my most asked questions. But that shelf is from Arc Lab Motorsports. It's called the Wingman. I will leave a link below in the description where to get it as well. I'll probably talk about it in this video again at some point. But yeah, I made a huge mistake of not talking about it last video. There's another one coming up from the bottom here. Oh. Ooh, ooh. Come on. Oh, he hardly tapped in. Hardly tapped in. I wonder if 
I should be taking these fish into the dirt. He hardly tapped it. Let's go right to the dirt with it. I don't think he's very big. Okay, he followed it down to the dirt. One did anyway. I'll get a better size reference now. Because I've had I've looked at these fish longer than that first one for sure. No, we need the dirt. Lift it. There we go. Okay. He hardly ended up eating it. I get a little, this one definitely feels better than that first one. So obviously that first mark I saw was a little bit better and that smaller one just ended up coming in because this one is probably a little bit smaller than that first decent mark I had come by. This one's going right to the other one's going right to the live minnow now too. Not bad at all. Come here, buddy. Not bad at all. It's going to the live minnow. Am I gonna get a double header? Oh, come here. I'm watching my live minnow at the same time. Easy, easy. This one's just full of warts. Ooh, you are not a pretty fish, my friend. Gotta keep on that live minnow at the same time. Not a very pretty fish with all those warts, but a nice solid, like 22 inch or something like that. Very solid fish. Nice, okay. These other ones are looking at that live minnow. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> I was just gonna get bait on my other rod going again and that fish come and hit the live minnow doesn't feel very big nice fish are biting fish three oh yeah this mark's charging oh looks good too looks good nice that fish came straight in straight in Wonder if this will be a, an eater. I am keeping fish at some point for sure. Ooh, it looks like a good eater. 17 and a quarter. Beautiful dark walleye. He's going to be a meal. Probably tomorrow I'll eat him, I think, but I'm gonna clean him up and have him ready. I thought about fishing in like sweats and a hoodie right now, but I was like, I just wanna make it feel for as long as I can, like that I'm like grinding it out instead of just all nice and comfy in here. I do have shoes on though, which is. <laughs> so the ice just moved <laughs> uh, like uh, six inches over probably. That was crazy. That's what happens, right? Like early season, those heaves and stuff like that. So be very, very, care very careful close to heaves. Oh, 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 nice. <laughs> that fish just charged right in. Like there was no even like having to play him. He just, he just ate. He just ate. Another, another good eater. One more to eat right now and then I'll be good. Come on, that's a nice fish. Come on, here it comes. Nice. That one I think is decent. This one feels decent. It's kind of funny how it's like seemed to kind of spook that smaller one away, right? It was like this one came in with a little bit of an attitude. And that shows you how much smaller that other mark was there. Okay, another about 17 inch or something like that. Going back down to the depth. Oh, before I drop down here real quick, I'll show you what I'm using. This is a Lindy Quiver Rattlin Spoon. I've got on for bait there. I've got an eyeball. This is a 3 8 ounce size. It's a favorite of mine. That little eyeball that's in the center there is a little rattle. Yeah, it's been a it's been a favorite of mine for sure. Last year on the non-rattle version, I crushed a 30 inch or the first wally of the year it was pretty epic. And yeah, you can get these ones from lurenet.com in the States. You can use code Clayton15. And if you're in Canada, pokies tackle shop.ca been a favorite of mine for quite some time i have like a couple favorite spoons obviously you know the dinner bell the insanity pepper i really really like the quiver spoon i really like the cast master spoon it's something i haven't used a lot on videos but before i started to film cast master something i started to fish or i was fishing with quite a bit so i will do some videos with that at some point too but those three spoons are definitely some of my favorites and then uh the new one too from frostbite the uh, scissor kick is also becoming a favorite pretty quick but sometimes it's really hard to choose what to use 
trying to draw them over here to my spoon. Here he comes. Here he comes. Come on. Oh, darted away. But he's coming back. It's not very big. Oh, he hardly tapped it. He hardly tapped it. I had a delayed reaction there. Let's see if it comes back again for a, for a third time. He did hit it once. Here it comes. Probably had a little taste. And he's like, mmm. Like, that was that was okay. I'm gonna come and have a bigger bite now. Ah, oh, Clayton. Can I catch this 15 inch walleye? Okay. Third try? Come on. Nice. Well, third time's a charm. This guy gave me a couple couple chances. Maybe he's a little bit bigger than 15 inches, which is what my original guess was. So maybe maybe he's 18. Well, I haven't caught anything big yet, but it sure is nice to be back on the ice catching some walleyes. And I say back on the ice, obviously I've been ice fishing. I'm talking more about like living out here for a little bit. I love my winter camping. I don't enjoy the sleeping out here so much with the propane heat. I know I've talked to lots in the past about trying to do a wood stove or something like that, but there's something about being on the ice, ready to go, fishing all hours of the night and all that sense. I do enjoy that part of it a lot. Oh, 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 oh. It's starting to be later in the night here. It's almost dark. And I hadn't had any activity for a while. I was just gonna make a sandwich here and I looked over and there was a fish cruising in. A decent one too. Nice. <laughs> there haven't been hot and heavy, but I have caught some fish anyway, which is always good. Always good. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, there you go. See ya. Come on. He's not very big. He's definitely little. He's little. Little, little, little. You can let go. It's okay. Okay. Well, it's like pitch black right now. Our action's definitely slowed down a little bit. We get the odd little guy like this cruising in. But like I said, definitely slowed down. We have not had a hot bite. But that's all good. We got lots of days left. Uh, nope, gotta go down, buddy. Unless you want to hang out for with me, for you can do that too. So yeah, it's pitch black right now. The sun is completely gone. It is nighttime. And yeah, the lake I'm on, I have had success after hours, which is one of my favorite lakes to camp on for that reason that I have caught big fish like at 8 o'clock at night, 9 o'clock at night. I've caught at 5 o'clock in the morning. So I like that aspect of where I am. I'm not really happy with how much fish I had come through in the evening here. So I'm looking forward to do a bunch of looking around tomorrow too, right? Having that other shack with me is going to be so good for this little tour where I can have a home base and cook out of and sleep out of and then still possibly go somewhere else to fish. So it's good, life's good. Like I said, dark, that's frosty, but it is dark. I think I'm going to get get comfortable finally. I'm gonna get into some sweats or some wind pants or something like that and a hoodie, relax. We're going to clean up all this mess. We're gonna get my cot set up and finally get the, the finish of the organization done type of thing. I'm comfy, things are good. Heat's on low right now. I might turn up the medium for a little bit and yeah, just kick back, relax, watch a movie eventually. I know someone's gonna say, movie while you're fishing. I think watching a movie in the evening while you're on the ice is just amazing. Eventually I'm gonna get an ice castle again and I'm gonna kick back in that thing once in a while, sleep on the ice, just live on the ice for days and days and weeks and months. Oh no, no, no. 
Last minnow still there. You think it was a rattle bait? Probably going right now. Rattle bait, yeah. Oh, it's coming rattle bait. Nice, nice. I missed them on the jig in the minna. Am I on focus there? I think so. It's like, I don't even know what time it is right now. Seven o'clock? That's why I like this lake. And what I'm on right now is I can catch them at night. A lot of times the walleye bite will slow down a lot at night on a lot of different lakes. Like, yes, you can have periodic times that, you know, it can happen, but not, I don't know. My experience with walleyes at night ice fishing usually isn't really, really good, but here it's good. One more peek at this guy, probably about 18 and a half, 19 inches, something like that, and back down. Thanks for coming to the rattle bait since I missed you with the, with the jig and the minnow like a donkey. What are you doing, buddy? I'm gonna go this way. There you go. <laughs> he was a little uh, turned around. Has anybody on this channel ever tried these before? This one is an Alpine, Alpine something. And this one is a mountain house. This is classic spaghetti with meat sauce. And this is creamy beef with noodles. I've got about five different options of these. I think I've got three of these and two of these to try in the next couple days. And I don't know, I've never had them before, but I feel like if you were doing like backcountry stuff that this would be a really good meal. So I'm gonna, I'm going to experiment and see. The good news is I have fish just in case these are really gross, but uh, let's find out. I think I'm gonna go with creamy beef and noodles with mushrooms today, right here. Yeah, let's see what happens. The instructions for these seem pretty simple. Boil water, basically. Add two cups of boiling water. So let's uh, boil some water. Boil, two cups. That's 500 milliliters. That's basically two cups, right? Uh, let's see here. Open pouch and remove the oxygen absorber. Because obviously we don't want to eat, eat that, right? That wouldn't be good. So that thing right there. Like, I don't know if this can be good for a person or not. But, yeah, we're going to find out. Okay. Second, boil water to got going. Add the two cups of boiling waters to ingredients. So... That's it, boil water, put it in there, let stand 12, 12 minutes, stir again and serve. Huh, okay. I hope this is good because this sure will make winter camping uh, a little bit easier at times. Wow, that took no time to boil either. Be really careful pouring it in there, right? We're doing good, we're doing good, we're doing good, we're doing good. I don't think I spilt any. So I think I'll stop right there. Wow. Okay, wants me to stir it. Okay, we stirred it. Now, did it say to close it? Uh, stir thoroughly, then seal pouch or cover. Okay, we seal it for 12 minutes. Okay, it's 9.33, so we'll seal this up for 12 minutes. Okay, moment of truth, I have to crack it open stir it and then i think it's good let's stand let's stand yeah 10 to 12 minutes stir again and serve huh i'm kind of uh interested to like try all the different flavors and whatever brands even and report to what's uh what's good um it looks interesting that's for sure but it smells really good. Like it smells really good. Okay, I have a plate here. We're gonna put it on and uh, see what happens. Okay, I'm gonna let it sit here for like 30 seconds to a minute, just let it cool off. But I'm excited, it smells really good. This could uh, make uh, overnight trips a lot uh, easier, more efficient. Still gonna cook fish. I love to cook fish when I'm on the ice camping. Okay. First bite, I'll get a little bit of the meat in here. Don't burn my little mouth. Mm, it's good, it's got really good flavor. The meat's a little bit tougher, but 
obviously it's like dried so it's to be expected to be a little bit tougher but it's really good mmm yeah wow I would totally buy this again this is an awesome little fishing meal wow I just cracked a new code time check 10 o'clock I'm full supper was really good I'm impressed that's gonna make life a lot easier for trips like this in the boat when I try to go camp on an island somewhere anything like that right like sometimes less is easier especially when you have all this camera gear but I thought I'd give a little bit of a tour here of the shack what I got going on like I talked about earlier I got those shelves from arc lab they're they're good they sit at a bit of an angle I know Ian talked me about that that they didn't sit completely flush you wouldn't want to put your drink there but they're an amazing rod holder and they're good to put some stuff on the pliers like that huge fan of that so there's obviously I'm sure he's going to come up with version two and version three of that in the, the near future but it's called the wingman from arc lab motorsports link will be in the, the description below and on the note with the arc lab that's what i use for a shuttle too that's what's holding that big 13 inch apex my mega live six sits on an arc lab shuttle it's sturdy i've been using it now for a year and a half and i'm very very happy with the whole setup it's good but yeah this is my like fishing quarter what i have going on I have a new Otter uh, Pro jump sheet, jump seed here. It goes right on top of a bucket, pretty handy. And then you can also use this on top of that Otter Sidekick as well in your flip over. We'll do more about that in the future. So yeah, oh, can you guys hear the coyotes? They're coming to get me. I'm gonna be attacked by coyotes. Anyways, my little fishing quarter there. One hole there, one hole there. Mega Live, bump board ready. I talked about the shelters, rods, my poles, cameras. I got a little Mr. Heater fan up here. This is just to kind of knock the heat down right now. It's off because it's a little bit, it's not noisy, but it is for the camera purpose. I want to make sure that I've got no noises there. I'm not sure where I got these little hooks from here, but they're pretty handy. They slide into the hub sleeves there. And as you can see, I got gloves there. Uh, I don't have anyone, anything on that one right now. There I've got my suits jacket and whatnot they're super handy to have and yeah and on this side this is like my sleeping quarter my home base i've noticed already the extra space in here with that full door now it opens it up crazy i love how much more space i have before like i would have right here the table would be like right here right there and it's just a small little section to kind of walk down here, right? This has so much more room. So much more room for activities. Now I think too, like camping with two, two cots, way more room. I'm super stoked. I've seen now the Monster Lodge of the Full Door and the Lodge of the Full Door. I haven't used the resort yet. I bet you that's going to even have more room too now. So I'm really liking... The full door added now with uh, Otter. Huge, huge fan. That's my little command center there. As you know, I have a lot of Dakota Lithiums running. This is new this year for me. I have two of these. This is a, uh, it's hard to flip over. Let me get this one out right here. Cause this is another version of it, just bigger. This is Dakota Lithium Powerbox 135. The one up there is a 60. This is what's gonna power me through the next few days of camping. These two things here, I'm loaded up on Dakota Lithium stuff right now to be able to power me through everything. As you can see, there's a 46 amp hour one running the Mega Live there. I've got here for the lights, all that fun stuff. On the light topic, I'm using uh, Otter LED here. This one's not on. These are Otter LED lights. This one I don't have plugged in. Uh, they changed it now. So they run more efficient off of the lithium batteries. Yeah, that's my camping setup. I'm gonna do obviously more through the whole camping setup in the next little bit. I feel like this video is kind of weak, I think, I'm not sure. I'm gonna keep going here a little bit and probably end this video when I go to sleep 
or maybe if I wake up to a fish or something like that. But I want to make multiple videos from this whole camping trip. Tomorrow, I'm going to go for an adventure with the Ranger. I've got another Otter Hub with me, another heater, all that, so I can go set up somewhere else and see if the bite's going to be better in a different area. Now that my camp's set up, though, this is where I'm staying. But now I can look for other areas to set up in the future. That's kind of the goal. I feel like I get so squirreled when I start talking. I'm talking about like the power box and yeah, and I just get squirreled, I talk about everything else. But this power box has an inverter built in. So if you have a laptop or anything like that, you wanna run off electricity, you can. And then I have a solar panel for here. I just didn't bring it with me that you wanna make them even last longer. You could hook up a solar panel, a panel, a solar panel and charge it. But yeah, I just get so squirreled. And a lot of it seems like overkill, but I need all these batteries literally to film properly or else I couldn't do it. You could do the winter camping thing and be really minimal and no cameras and stuff like that and just get away on the ice and be super enjoyable. But like I talked about, please just be safe. Right here, this is the, here's something I didn't cover when I was getting squirreled carbon monoxide detector this one actually has a, a level on it as well it'll read the levels on it and then if it was uh getting low it's gonna go it's gonna beep loud here right away it's gonna beep twice uh, so i think it'll beep louder the second time it's coming there it is so yeah so that's like the test but it has a level on there too so you can monitor that and I should do research on what like the critical levels are, but right now it's still at zero. So get a carbon monoxide detector, please. Carbon monoxide alarm is what these are. Good morning. <clears throat> yeah. Mm. Throat's a little sore, not bad. But I have a I have a solution for that and a real cool story. Orange juice, I always say I like for the sore throat, but it's actually not that bad today. So that's a, that's a good thing. I slept okay. I fell asleep to watching Top Gun and woke up near the end of it. And uh, something was happening, I don't know yet, so don't spoil for me. I gotta watch it yet. Cause I definitely fell asleep during it. You wake up a few times throughout the night. I never sleep the best out here, ever. Just the way it is, right? I'm not used to it in that sense, but. I'm up, it's 6.30, sun will be up in an hour and a half from now. But my little story about the orange juice here is I always put this orange juice in my uh, my camping videos in that sense. And uh, at the Winnipeg Ice Fishing Show this year, this cute little girl came up and she didn't say anything. She was just like holding orange juice. And I like, I knew instantly, right? Like it was just, it was so cute. She had a bottle of Frank's Red Hot and a bottle of orange juice for me. She obviously watches the channel and the videos with her parents and stuff like that. So it was so thoughtful. It's really, really cool. St stuff like that's like really why I why I love to do this kind of stuff. But anyways, I'm hoping for a, a good morning bite. I've got the camera, I've got uh, the camera. I've got everything going here already. I just turned it all on. And uh, yeah, hoping for a good morning bite. And then uh, maybe wrap this video up type of thing. This morning, I think I'm going to have a banana, orange juice, some protein balls, and I might cook some bacon, maybe, I think. I have some, uh, some, homemade bacon from somebody here that I bought from from around town there so I'm gonna try that out here I know I'm, I'm rambling about nothing here but it's, it's early I just woke up I'm not gonna lie what a life look at this gorgeous sunrise that's gonna happen and I'm doing it I'm pulling out my inner fishing geek right now I'm having some bacon it's warm enough that I can cook it out here uh, I definitely smoked out my shock a little bit. So yeah, cooking up some bacon in this gorgeous, what should be a gorgeous sunrise here at some point. Awesome. Love it. Okay, here's my, here's my breakfast of champions for this morning. Protein balls made by my wonderful girlfriend, Cindy. Some homemade maple habanero bacon. A banana, the banana is not homemade. And some orange juice. Yeah, 
just trying to make it happen. The plan is right now is to fish till like 10, 10 30, maybe 11 o'clock, and then venture out and find something else for the afternoon and the evening and set up in a different area and hopefully do a different video. So I'm not going to wrap this video up yet. We're going to, we're going to fish this morning yet. And hopefully we can have a good morning bite because yesterday's evening bite was very, very medium. No, a dozen fish, 10 fish. That's, that's a great, that's a great afternoon, right? But Clayton Schick's just spoiled. It's just the way it is. Come on. Nice. First fish of the morning. It's not bad. It's not bad. Awesome. Have a little brekkie. By the way, bacon's really good. Like bacon's really good. That's a nice fish. Oh, that's a nice one right there. Coming to my little swimming pool, my friend. I gotta get a light going on this camera, but that's a great way to start off the day right there. Like a nice 22 incher. Awesome. Hopefully the bites fire and I, uh, Maybe you don't even have to move, right? I can just drop the underwater camera down and fish here. That'd be the dream. Get his attention. Oh, he like that. Here we go. Let's see if I can eat it right out of the dirt. Come on. Pick it up. Pick it up, buddy. No. Let's see if I'm able to rise it then. Yeah, he likes that better. Nice! That took a little bit of coaxing to get that one to eat. I never, I'm not a huge fan of when it takes a while to get them to eat, right? Like, the longer it takes them to eat, the less chance you have of scoring on just another nice fish. Well, my morning started, started, started off really good. Awesome. It's a nice thing about winter camping, just to sort of wake up out here and just start fishing. It makes life so much easier. That ice is so clear. If I hook a big one, it's gonna look unreal. Easy, easy. And that Lindy quiver rattling spoon. Yeah, nice fish. Man, are they beautiful here. So dark, gorgeous, hardly hooked. One last show off here. Gorgeous fish, 23 incher. And back down, because I've got more fish down there. Awesome. I've got a live minnow right beside me and the active bait is definitely out fishing it. Next video we're doing underwater footage, hands down. Right now it'd be, it's too dark yet to even drop the underwater camera down, but when we wrap this video up and start the next one, we're going to underwater, underwater footage. Right to the live minnow again. Oh, did he tap? He tapped it, I think. Oh. Nice. So a little bit more aggressive is what got that fish finally to eat. I was pounding it more on a spot. Pretty, pretty good. Nothing crazy. Oh, if you're going to come off, that's fine. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. I kind of want him just to come off. But, okay. Our third fish of the morning. Another like 19 incher type of thing. Beautiful. <laughs> He's making a mess. The sun is just starting to rise. The bite's been pretty finicky for the most part. Like I've had lots of fish cruise through actually. And not scoring a pile. Even the live minnow. They're not touching the live minnow either. That one I was like working slow. He come close to it and finally I just started to like tap 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 pound it right on a spot a little bit more aggressively and that triggered him you never know what's going to trigger him right it might be a pike it might be a pike oh come on i think it's a big walleye though Nice, whatever it is, I just hooked it. Be a walleye. No, it's a it's a pike. <laughs> it's a pike. I was hoping this was gonna be a big walleye. I was either thinking big big walleye or medium pike. It was pretty high in the water column, which was one thing for sure. I was thinking 
pike but that's cool love the clear water or the clear ice i should say that is awesome okay i kind of want it just to come off because it's going to make a mess out of everything here i don't want to break obviously but life's good always got my dead stick right now too let's grab you then since you have my dead stick rod here my friend well i am glad oh that camera is a disaster now i am glad i did see this fish because he had me a little bit convinced that it might have been a walleye. See ya. Another fish charging here. A little bit quicker. It's coming in pretty quick. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. That one's decent, I think. Ah. Uh, my mind's playing tricks with me now, right? Because I just want to catch a big one. Just because I want to catch a big one. It's a nice fish, though. It's a nice fish. Very cool. <laughs> Bonking his head on the bottom of the ice. Easy, buddy. Easy. I'm come up to my swimming pool here. Come up here. Come on. Come here. Relapse a little bit more. That's a nice fish. That's nice. Okay, oh, it, that one inhaled. It's funny how some fish have been so finicky and then some of them <laughs> are just taking it right down the hatch. One more quick show off. Catching quality fish this morning. Can't complain at all, like a nice 24 inch or something like that. Beautiful, okay. That one charged in too, like in, like in a hurry. See ya. Same spoon that I started with, just a different color. This one is a white glow, Lindy Quiver Rattlin Spoon. I've said it a few times already, but the full door on this thing has just made my life so much easier. The winter camping, taking gear in and out, so good. Well, that will wrap up video one of my camping on ice. I feel like I did a horrible job of just, the video in general, like in my mind right now, when I look back, it seems so boring. I don't know how the edit will come together, I caught some good fish. My uh, quantity wasn't up, but my quality was really good. Caught a decent pike, a couple of nice walleye, nothing giant. But I'm going to pack up the ranger and go do some exploring. I'm gonna put my suit back on and get into the whole ice fishing feeling, right? The one thing about being like this is you get really settled and not wanna like move around and that stuff. So I'm gonna go for an adventure. I'm gonna put a pike tip up out as I'm fishing for walleye, this time with the underwater camera I'm gonna start with. Unfortunately, my next video, I'm only gonna have the underwater camera recording, not the Mega Live to start with, because I only brought one recorder. I made a, a mistake, but anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you do have any questions about winter camping, drop them below and I'm going to work some questions into some future videos at some point. Obviously it won't be in the next two or three because this is gonna be a video series I'm creating right now, but in the future when I go winter camping, I will bring some, YouTube, some, some comments or questions in from the YouTube. We're gonna try something new. So anyways, thank you so much for watching and don't forget, get outside.